Hello, parents and other invested individuals, and welcome to Open House. My name is Shana Pickett, and I teach Earth Science at Grays Lake Central High School. Um, this is my 21st year of teaching, my second year teaching this particular class. I'm also an instructional coach uh, for the rest of my day, which means I help teachers to design and implement engaging activities with students. And providing a lot of technical support as we navigate our e-learning experience to begin our school year. Um, I am available through email anytime. Like I get emails on my phone and I'll respond to them as quickly as possible, whether that's from the students or from you, their supporting staff. So please just let me know if there's anything that I can do at any time to support you. I am a diehard user of Schoology, so all of the materials that we use in Earth Science are either linked from or posted in Schoology. So if the students aren't sure about what to work on, they should go visit our Schoology page. At the top of the page, there is a link to our unit schedule, and that has all of the information broken down day by day with links to the relevant information. I am hosting a Zoom meeting at the beginning of each class period that we have scheduled. Um, those might be longer where we're doing a lot of instruction and discussion. They might have breaks in between. So we might talk a little bit, take some time to go read something and then come back. Or they might be shorter just to get a setup and then allow students time to work as they feel they can. So they can either use the rest of that class time or they can use their homework time to be able to work on those activities the expectation is that they just complete the work that's been assigned so that we can talk about it the next time we meet. Uh, we are currently wrapping up the first part of unit one. So we started our experience in earth science looking at a couple of skills things. We had a short unit zero, where we looked at constructing scientific explanations and asking good questions, both open and closed ended questions. And then we've moved into our content. And so our unit one is on astronomy, but more about the formation of everything, right? So we've started with the Big Bang, looking at um, the evidence that supports the Big Bang theory as the formation of the universe, and talked about what scientists have seen, and then how they reason that to um, build the Big Bang theory, and some questions that are still kind of outstanding about what happened before and what might happen in the future. Uh, we're gonna take our first summative quiz on that, well, Thursday. Um, so they're taking that during either class time or on their own time. It's up to them when they feel ready to take it. Um, it just has to be completed by the end of the weekend. And then if the students want, they can use notes on that assessment. Like I can't really control what they're using. So the questions will be written in a way that expects them to use their notes and their online resources to be able to answer and kind of pull together all the information that we've been talking about. So it's fine if they're taking a test from me and they have their notes out, that's expected and encouraged. Um, in our class, we will then kind of move to the formation of our solar system, the formation of Earth, looking at all of the different mineral resources that are available on Earth, and then talk about processes that occur um, both with the um, geosphere, the like, land itself, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and then how that affects the biosphere. So we'll be looking at interactions between all of those things as we proceed through each of our units in the course. Um, we have learning targets that are very specific to each unit and those are listed on the unit schedule. Um, so there's usually five to six things that we'll be focusing on and, they, and they're kind of made clear up front um, for students to kind of help focus like what it is we're doing and really focusing on the why we're doing it. Sometimes the answer is it's just good to know things, but hopefully we can do something positive and apply that information um, and, and use it going forward. All right, um, things to know about earth science. So grading, 
We have two categories, formative and summative. There's no final exams for semester one um, per the e-learning uh, guidelines that we've been given from the district. So formative assessments are 0% of their grade. It's literally just practice. Those are assignments and activities that are encouraged for learning, but they are not required to actually pass the class. So uh, if students are working on them, the, there might be scores going in the grade book in that category as communication. Like, yes, your student has been practicing these things. Maybe the practice isn't going well and we need more review. Maybe the practice is going really well and they're gonna be all set for their summative assessment. It's just informational for me, the students, and for you to kind of understand their progress in the class. So formative assessments, if they're missing, it's not a big deal. It just means they chose not to work on that. It becomes a big deal if they're choosing not to work on that and their test scores and their project scores are not good, right? So we encourage them to do the practice work, just like Michael Jordan had to show up for basketball practice, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to do terribly in the game on the assessments. So summative assessments will now make up 100% of the grade in the class, and that will include um, projects, important activities, like kind of summative end of unit activities and tests, and it'll be a mix of those things. So our first part of unit one will have our first main like test-like assessment, um, but again, it's open note and retakes are available. So any work that they complete in earth science can be retaken, revised, discussed with, the, with me um, for uh, adjusted scores. So it's really depending on what the assessment is, what kind of retake or revision would be required to be able to earn credit back. Um, but a lot of it just has to go back and look at the mistakes we made the first time and how do we not make those mistakes in the future? How do we improve on things that may not have been up to expectation? and really use that as a learning experience moving forward. So we always wanna put our best work out there. And sometimes maybe the directions weren't clear or we just didn't have time, we didn't understand it at that time. So what can we do to get better? Like make those changes, make those adjustments and move forward. And communication is key. So if a student has questions about what they can do or when they can work on it or what they would need to do to improve, Email is the best means of communication at this time um, during our e-learning experience. And again, I will get back as quickly as I can. I really love this content. I think it's great. I love science in general. I love technology. These are all things that are so important for us as we develop in, like as these guys develop into adults to move out into society and be productive um, individuals. So. Hopefully they enjoy the experience of being in the class. Hopefully they're taking not just content away from the class, but really um, a reflection of kind of where they're at and what skills they can continue to work on um, and be able to use after they leave us. Um, I have two children, uh, one in college and one in high school that are both very passionate about this content area as well. So hopefully we'll be able to bring in some of their experiences and some of their learning to our course and just kind of show some of the possibilities that are available in these fields if it's something that they're interested in. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate that you're here. Um, please email, reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. I'm definitely open to the, the feedback. I just wanna make this a positive experience for your students. And if there's anything that I can be doing better, let me know. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining.